Hello everyone, welcome to Unlock Maths. Today we are going to introduce inverse Laplace transform. So first here we have to write down definition. Let if we have this function f of t and we know it's Laplace, this f of s, right? This f of s is called Laplace transform of this f of t, right? Then this f of t is called inverse Laplace transform of this f of s. Yes, this f of t is called inverse Laplace transform of this f of s, right? And we can write this as this is L inverse of this f of s is f of t right and this operator l inverse is called inverse laplace transform operator so now this f of s is a laplace transform and this f of t is inverse laplace transform right now in previous lectures we have seen some elementary laplace transform right and from this we will find inverse Laplace transform. Now we have seen Laplace of 1. Yes, we know that Laplace of 1, this is 1 upon S. Now from this is, we have to say that Laplace inverse of 1 upon S is 1, right? Same Laplace of t, yes, we have seen Laplace of t, this is, yes, we know that this is 1 upon s square. So, from this is L inverse of this 1 upon s square, this is t, right? Next year, we have seen Laplace of t raised to n, right? This is n factorial upon s raised to n plus 1, right? So, from this is, yes, we have to write this L inverse of, yes, this is 1 upon S raised to N plus 1, right? This is here T raised to N upon N factorial, right? So, yes, from this is, we can say that th this is Laplace of 1 upon S raised to N. Yes, we have to find from this is Laplace of 1 upon s raised to n. So, for this we will put here, this is put n plus 1 as a, this is as a n, right? So, here we have value of n, this is n minus 1. So, here Laplace inverse of 1 upon s raised to n, this is we got, this is t raised to n minus 1 upon this n minus 1 factorial, right? Yes, this is the Laplace inverse of 1 upon s raised to n. Yes, this is here we have t raised to n minus 1 upon n minus 1 factorial, right? Yes, this is a function of t, right? So, this f of t, yes, this f of t is called inverse Laplace transform, right? So, next here we have Laplace of e raised to a t. Yes, we know that this is 1 upon s minus a. So, from this is Laplace inverse of 1 upon s minus a. So, what is this? This is e raised to a t, right? Similarly, Laplace of e raised to minus a t. Yes, we know that this is 1 upon, this is s plus a, right? So, Laplace inverse, here we have Laplace inverse of 1 upon s plus a. So, here this is e raised to minus a t, right? Next, Laplace of sin a t. Yes, we know that this is what? Yes, this is a upon s square plus a square where a is constant, right? So, from this is Laplace inverse of 1 upon s square plus a square. Yes, this a gets shifted here. So, here we have this is 1 upon a into sine of a t. 
Similarly, Laplace of this is cos of a t. Yes, this is s upon s square plus a square. So from this is Laplace inverse of this is yes. We have s upon. So here we have this is s upon s square plus a square. This is right. This is what cos of a t. Right. So all these are function of t right so this f of t is called inverse laplace transform right similarly laplace of yes this is we have sin of h a t laplace hyperbolic sin laplace yes what is this this is a upon s square minus a square so from this is we have to write l inverse of yes this is 1 upon s square minus a square. Yes, this is a we have to shift here. So, this is 1 upon a into sine of h a t. Next, Laplace of this hyperbolic cos. Right. So, Laplace of here cos of h a t. This is s upon s square minus a square. So, from this is Yes, we have to write L inverse of this is S upon S square minus A square. This is what? This is, yes, this is cos of H A T. Right. So, yes, we have seen elementary inverse Laplace transform, right? We have to remember all these elementary inverse Laplace transform so that we can use all these inverse Laplace transform in further examples, right? So, let's try some examples here, depend on this elementary inverse Laplace transform, right? If we have to find L inverse of, if we have to find this is Laplace inverse of this 1 upon S cube, right? So, what is Laplace inverse of this is? Yes, we have seen, yes, this formula L inverse of 1 upon S raised to N. What is this? This is T raised to N minus 1 upon N minus 1 factorial. So, by using this formula, this is T raised to, this is 3 minus 1 upon 3 minus 1 factorial. That means this is T square upon, this is 2 factorial, right? Yes, we have used this formula n inverse of 1 upon s raised to n. This is what? This is t raised to n minus 1 upon n minus 1 factorial, right? Similarly, if we have to find l inverse of this is 1 upon s raised to 6. So, how to use this formula here? This is t raised to this is 6 minus 1 upon the 6 minus 1 factorial, right? So, this is we have t raised to 5 upon this 5 factorial, right? So, next year, if we have to find Laplace inverse of, this is 1 upon s minus 4. So, what is its inverse Laplace? Yes, this is e raised to, this is 4t, right? Similarly, if we have... Laplace inverse of s plus 7. So, this is e raised to minus 7 of t, right? Next, if we have to find L inverse of, this is 3 upon s square plus 3 square. Yes, what is this? L inverse, right? This is, this is what? Sign of 3t, right? Next, if we have to find L inverse of this is S upon S square plus this is 2. So, what is this? This is here we have S upon. So, yes, we can write this is L inverse of this is S upon S square plus this A square. That means this is root 2 its square, right? So, this is what is this? This is cos of root of twice t, right? Yes. Next year we can find L inverse of this is S upon S square minus 16. So, what is this? 
yes this is cos of h4t right so yes in this way yes we can find l inverse of yes if we have to find laplace inverse of this is s plus 2 s square minus 25 yes how to find this is here so what we have to do yes we can we can write this is in elementary laplace transform so here we can write this is l inverse of s upon s square minus 25 u right and this is 2 upon s square minus 25 right so now we can separately operate this l inverse so here we have l inverse separately on this is so yes here we have this is minus sign so this is hyperbolic right so this is l inverse here we have 1 upon s square minus 25 so this is here we have to write 1 upon a a means here phi u and this is here we have to write sin h phi u t right so in this way we have to find inverse laplace transform so for this is we have to remember all these elementary inverse laplace transform right so yes that's it for now see you in the next video thank you keep watching